Welcome to Burn the Ship, the podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to go all in on their business and connects them with professionals that can help them do it. Today, we have a very special guest. We have Justin Minnick with Dirty Bird CrossFit. How are you doing today? Excellent as always. Good, good, man. Mm -hmm. We truly do appreciate you coming in today. Uh, another thing is we definitely uh, appreciate you being a SIP sponsor for us, man. Thanks for that. Yes, thank you for the opportunity. Yes, Love yes, it. yes, absolutely. Well, as you all know, uh, time is one of our most valuable resources, so we'll go ahead and jump into things. Justin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I grew up in Marietta. Uh, I went to uh, the Walker School for high school, and after, uh, at the Walker School, I played co uh, football there. I received a full ride scholarship to Sanford University in Birmingham, Alabama. Played co <clears throat> played college football there. Um, after I graduated there uh, with a with a degree in health sciences with a minor psychology, I decided to pursue more into fitness. It's something uh, I'm really truly passionate about. Just picking up the weights, encouraging others, being motivated myself, and uh, one thing led to another. I got my CrossFit L1 certificate, mm -hmm. and then from there I coached uh, CrossFit classes at local gyms, and I made the decision to hop on, create my own gym, and then here we are, living the dream. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Hey, look, man, I'm a huge football fan, so I'm going to back it up a little <laughs> bit now. Uh, Samford, that's Bulldogs, right? Yes, sir. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Now, with that... Tell us a little bit about that experience you playing football. Uh, was it one of those things where when you walked on campus, uh, you were automatically playing? Did you have to work to it? Tell us a little bit about that. I, I worked into the opportunity, and I'm really grateful for uh, earning that spot and not giving it to me as soon as I step on campus. Because when you work harder for something, you appreciate it more when the opportunity comes. And I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity at Sanford. And the people I met there and being coached by uh, Pat Sullivan. Okay. Uh, Pat Sullivan, uh, people don't know, he was the very first Auburn football player to receive the Heisman. And being in his presence and learning from him and other Alabama coaches that came by and taught us of playing football and weightlifting, it's been a great experience. And I still, to this day, use their tips and, tr and tricks and techniques of lifting weights, encouraging others, and getting after it. And being holding yourself accountable. Good deal. Good mm -hmm. deal. Now... I played baseball in college, and I definitely remember my highlight. What would you say was your highlight mm. at uh, your college uh, football highlight? Ooh. You had that college, many? Yeah. Oh, quite my goodness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Quite, I love quite, it. quite a few. Nice, nice. Um, I'll say my very, my, my very last football game. Okay. Uh, we had played Mercy University in Georgia, mm -hmm. and it was an honor to play – at my home state, at my very last football game, mm -hmm. uh, where my football dreams like started in the state of Georgia. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Well, AKA, what he's saying is he knocked out a lot of people. <laughs> um, now, going through those different things, you were saying that you went from school mm -hmm. straight to training. Mm -hmm. Is that is that what you did? You made a couple stops at a couple gyms. What pushed you towards uh, doing that before you started your own business? Just the the drive. Uh, I just had like. You know, when you're just craving to do something, you feel like you get, you're meant to do something. And it's just, I just had the itch of like, I want to do better and get better. And when the opportunity, opportunity presented itself, I was going all in for it. Um, and then that's why I decided to get the CrossFit certification because I had more flexibility uh, with that than compared to the other uh, fitness certifications where you're only limited to this particular big global, uh, global, global gym kind okay. of vibe. Okay, I got you. So mm -hmm. not only are you passionate about it, you have the certifications to be able to show people how to do it properly. Mm -hmm. Awesome, yes, awesome. And how many years have you had uh, Dirty Bird? Uh, four and a half years. Okay, congratulations, mm -hmm. man. Thank That's you. a big deal. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of business owners mm -hmm. I talk to all the time. And, you know, hey, I started this business, now I'm doing this business. But you've been able to stay strong for four and a half years. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. Now, tell me, as you are growing your business, um, I'm sure there are some skills that you have acquired and nurtured over time, and you wanted to share one of those skills with us today. What is that skill you would like to talk about today? Uh, gained a lot, plenty of plethora of skills, a bunch of skills, but the main one I'm really, really passionate about that comes naturally to me is motivation. Okay. Being motivated and just naturally inspiring others to be motivated themselves. Um, and the main thing is just learning how to just being like strive for comfort while being uncomfortable. Like when you mm -hmm. get out the get out your comfort zone, trying something new, and just enjoy that experience. Because from there, that's how you truly truly grow. Because 
things don't change. If you just do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, that's the definition of insanity. Mm -hmm. So uh, getting out the comfort zone, trying new things, and, is, and mainly the thing is enjoy that process. So I'll say motivation. Awesome, awesome. Now, this podcast is for entrepreneurs that have mm -hmm. gotten started in their business. Maybe they've gotten stuck or they have some questions on particular skills. That's why we ask these questions. Yeah. How do you believe the entrepreneurs that are watching can develop the skill of motivation? Uh, <clears throat> momentum, love speed. Simply, you start off with small uh, – tasks and then you keep on doing it over and over and over again with a new test and then as you gain more confidence within yourself then it will start you will create like momentum and momentum low speed and that motivation will just come naturally um and also what helps motivation is being surrounded with great people uh that helps you being held accountable okay mm -hmm. now as you have grown the business I'm sure there's been all types of scenarios that have happened inside of the gym. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us how the skill of motivation has helped someone inside of your presence? Yes. Uh, I've seen people from losing plenty, plenty of weight. Uh, my favorite transformation is when a person comes in and in the next month they're a totally different person just because they have a strong body. You have to have a strong mind. And as you continue doing the reps, you're gaining more confidence, you're increasing the weight, so you're going a little faster, you're showing up at, at the class time, on time, those little things add up to becoming your best self over a period of time. And then um, volume, and then also some time, mm -hmm. always gives great results. Okay, awesome, yeah. awesome. Now, having this skill has helped you in the present. How do you believe this skill will help you in the future, and what does the future of Dirty Bird look like? Oh, uh, it will help me in the future because being motivated, you won't quit. Um, mm -hmm. and you may see me struggle, but you'll never ever see me quit. And the main thing is, as long as you just keep going, you learn from those lessons of the highs and lows, you just keep at it and being motivated. So what I see is the future of Dirty Bird CrossFit is that we continue growing. We have a deeper impact in the great city of Marietta and just sharing the love. Uh, we're the only CrossFit gym in the whole city of Marietta that has a pride flag. So we okay. support lesbians, gays, trans, whoever, however, mm -hmm. even if you have an arm growing below your back. At my gym, we don't care. We're mm -hmm. here to have fun, and we support you for being yourself. So there's literally no judgment, um, and it's all fun and games. Uh, so being motivated uh, led me to this point simply because of when COVID hit, we had to be shut down. So we had to get creative while being uh, closed. And then also um, just like all the challenges of being a business owner, the mm -hmm. highs and lows. And I just know that like, as long as I win that today, I will lead me to the next opportunity, which is tomorrow. And just win the day and just repeat that process over and over. And it will lead to great results. I hope you guys have your notepads out. He's dropping a <laughs> bunch of gems on you guys. Uh, you guys need to pay attention to that. Now, you know, in this uh, podcast, we always talk about your business and those mm -hmm. skills. But we also like to talk about you because it's important for us to have a great work-life balance. Yes. So let's just say... You've gotten everybody to get on board. They're motivated. They're healthy. Their mindset is correct. And you just have that business flowing. Mm -hmm. What is it that Justin would do if he had more free time? Mm. What would I have to do with more free time? Ooh. I probably still just work out because, like, like I said, I just love what I do. And I don't need a vacation from what I'm doing because mm -hmm. I put my happiness right here in the moment, in the presence. Uh, so there's an old saying out there that says a wise man, I mean, a foolish man will put his happiness off at a distance. A wise man put his happiness beneath his feet. So I'm truly enjoying the process of meeting folks, hearing their stories, and then watching them unfold into their best self over a period of time. Um, and so with extra time, I would literally just, you know, just sit back and just watch the transformations just happen. Okay. And, um, so. so you would just stay focused on helping people the mm -hmm. whole time. You wouldn't yeah. take a break for yourself. Just want to, <laughs> hey, listen, man, we need mm -hmm. that selflessness in the world. Uh, there's a lot of times people can't get their mind wrapped around yeah. a positive experience. And sometimes we just need those beacons of light. And we definitely appreciate you sharing that. Thank you. Now, in order for people to try to get some of that light, how would they get in contact with you? Uh, so they can contact me through my website. They can uh, simply call our phone number, which is 678-771-6774. Uh, or they can literally just pull, uh, stop by the gym. And then one of our team members will be more than happy to help you out. I guarantee you that nine times out of ten, we stop by my gym, uh, you're going to meet a new friend. Our community is really, really friendly and welcome everybody. 
And what's the current address at the uh, current address of our uh, gym is twenty eight hundred Canton Road, Suite seven twenty, Marietta, Georgia three zero zero six six. So we're in the same shopping center with the Cobb Antique Store Mall. Okay. Uh, off of Canton Road. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, we definitely appreciate you coming on and sharing these uh, gems of knowledge with us. We mm-hmm. know that the entrepreneurs that watch the show are looking to get motivated to continue to move forward. We truly do appreciate that. And whenever I conduct a show, I always give my guests the last word. So what is your last word for the people today? Mm, my last word for people will be, Just enjoy life. Enjoy the highs and lows. Have fun. Um, And then what you focus on is what you become. So there's something I noticed me personally this past year is that what what you think on is what you deserve, not so much on what you want to deserve. So constantly think of ways that you can improve yourself and more importantly, love yourself. And then the way you love yourself um, as a reflection on the outside of you and then the reflection of people that you're going to attract in your life. So if you truly love yourself, you're going to attract nice, positive people that love themselves too. And then you just expand from there. Hey, man, we definitely appreciate <laughs> you coming on today. Again, I hope you guys had your notepads out today because my man was full of them today. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for coming mm-hmm. on. We have Justin Minnick yes, with sir. Dirty Bird CrossFit. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you, Roger. All right. <laughs> Let's go.